show off my um, little cross laser design here that I've made. Uh, it's using a 3D printed mount. This is a second iteration of it. And it holds these little uh, cheap lasers, uh, line lasers, and they cross right in the middle like that. They're adjustable. Uh, now my first original one would go on very, very tight, but then it would loosen up over time. So this one, I designed a little uh, zip tie strap so that I can do that to it. Now, uh, whenever I have to remove the nozzle, uh, it's got a plug, so I can just unplug it. So to remove the nozzle, of course I push in and remove the uh, air assist line undo that and then of course lower the bed and the nozzle will drop out now this is uh, set up right now uh, perfectly so I'm gonna I'm gonna fire the laser and watch I'm gonna pulse it and you can watch the uh, the center I am wearing laser safe glasses you can see there hopefully that there's a dot right dead center of where the two lasers meet. So anyway, I just thought I'd show that off a little bit. I was tired of the single laser pointer that never really was accurate. Uh, these, the nice thing is, let's assume, all right, hit the wrong button on my phone there and stop recording. The nice thing is that uh, with a single pointer, if for some reason you have to move the bed up or down, it becomes inaccurate, but this should still be accurate, at least really close. I've, I've moved the bed way, way, way out of focus, and you can see the dot there is still almost dead on. Let's hit, a, let's hit another pulse. Yeah, see, that's, that's still dead on there. So anyway, that's that, by the way. I'll show this off too. Uh, this is how I move my, let me undo that. This is how I move my bed now. Um, I was busting my knuckles, hitting this bar here in the back, doing it by hand. Now I have this little ratchet that hangs up in the middle of the air. Uh, if I want to, I can of course remove this and still use it by hand. Uh, this is also 3D printed but it takes a, a 3 8 ratchet. Now, if I have to move it a long ways, I also have a breaker bar I can put on it and have it way up here outside the laser and I can just spin it real easy. And I can keep that on a magnet over there. But uh, Anyway, that's all I wanted to show. Um, well, actually, one more little thing. This is my focus tool that you put under the laser head. I got this idea from somebody else. Um, I put it on a, uh, a real badge reel so I can go like this and focus and then just let go and it, it snaps back over here. And it's got a strong electrum, or not electromagnet, a strong neodymium magnet on the back. So if I needed to, I could move it elsewhere. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.